Alright guys, welcome to the 5x5 Minecraft building guide. We're in Minecraft 1.14. This is a fisher's hut. Somewhere to go fishing, somewhere to control the fishing for your village. It has got uh, an extra bit of detail here with some holes in the roof on the outside. A nice chimney belching out smoke. Plenty of space inside. Little details like lanterns and a bell. It is chock full of Minecraft 1.14 detail and flavour that we like. You could almost eat this house. I also have a watchtower and a medieval house in my playlist. I do check that out, links in the down below. Hey, if you like the Minecraft 5x5 building system, you like the inspiration and you like to copy the builds as well, then hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. Let's get this built. So I've laid out some of the ingredients that we're going to be using for this build. We're going to do the first section under the main house. If you'd like a complete block by block count and extra pictures then check out my patreon because there's a builder's guide for this fisher's hut on that um, so grab yourself some stone bricks cracked stone bricks mossy stone bricks some dead brainy coral block and we're also going to grab some bone block and some spruce logs as well we'll come back for the rest these are all mainly concerned with the roof so let's get building. So uh, you need to obviously position your hut fairly close to the water. Um, as you can see, the bit that extends into the water, this bit here is one, two, three, four, five, six sections long. Um, so you need to decide exactly where you want your fisher's house to be. As long as this pier can come along and get into the water, you're okay. Obviously you can make it longer or shorter than mine, depending on the needs for your own town. Okay, let's get going. So, uh, mossy stone bricks, we're going to need them, quite a lot of them as it turns out. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. Like that. Cool. Um, what I'm actually going to do is take off this one and these three because these are going to form a bit of an entrance or a kind of an open basement, I think, underneath the house. We're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and that is it. That is the basic shape that we've got underneath our fisher's hut. We're going to come up the corners here, two more blocks, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. There we go. Cool. And um, now you want to reach for your dead brainy coral block. And before we do that, I'm going to add in a couple more of these. We're going to go there and there. There and there. And you could actually make some of these cracked stone brick if you wanted. I'm going to keep most of them mossy cobble for being down here like this like this like this and stick some cracked ones here and here so there's your little basement okay in here the rest of this is going to be dead brainy coral block which looks like bricks and mortar so that is the base of the fisher person's hut what you can do is come across here, one, two, three, and add in a floor. Um, I guess spruce wood floor is fine. I like using slabs, it creates a lot more space underneath. So when you walk in here, you can start to store things. Maybe you don't need these blocks after all. There you go, there's your little basement. And now we can start to build up the rest of this house. So I'm gonna switch into, for sure, crack stone bricks and go one, two, three, four. 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 Now, they don't, they don't all have to be cracked stone bricks. You could replace a few of them, especially near the, nearer the top. You could replace a few of them with ordinary blocks, just like that. Coming across the top here, we're going to just seal the deal like this to make our normal 5x5 five five shape. And what that has done is left us with these spaces is three by three spaces um, now don't fill in this gap here this one is going to be used a little bit later on but the rest of these gaps here got one here 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 and here and over here can be filled in with windows actually this one's going to be a door so there's the bone blocks for a door we can put our door in just now that one's going to be a door. There we go. So the rest of these are going to be windows. So let me show you how that works. 
Simple as that, let's grab the glass and also one of these spruce Trapidorus maximus and I'm going to put this one right here <coughs> and it represents a little shutter on the window. Okay, so that needs to be done all the way around. So there we go, that's been done all the way around. Um, now we can add on another section to this place. We're going to come out one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and simply build these up like that. Creating another little five by five section. And give it a floor also. Now what I've done here is gone for this gorgeous stripped dark oak log and this is going to form a nice door space and window spaces on both sides obviously and grab some glass Trapidorus Maximus There we go. Excellent. Cool. So um, once you've done that, we want to move on to a roof. So grab yourself some stone brickus stairs. I'm just going to actually just take my no, render distance is pretty low. That's fine. I'm going to put that there and there. It's a key block for our roof. Just build up your roof in this sort of formation. Upside down there. Turn around. That can go that way up and stick out just like that. Underneath it, we can grab one, two, three, and while I'm here, I'm gonna stick in the second door there like that. So we need to do three of these gable ends. You need to do another one right here, okay? Another one right here, and another one over here. Now the chimney is gonna be here, but I'm gonna do this and build this as if the chimney isn't here yet. So the chimney is kind of an optional extra which you could put in if you want. So that's being completed on all three sides. One, two, three, one, two, three, like that. And that's pretty straightforward. Building the rest of the roof couldn't be easier. Uh, I'm gonna take these all the way along. These ones go all the way along as well. So do these ones really simple and then you grab your oak stairs and just have fun because they pretty much just place themselves how easy is that <laughs> and then these ones come along super simple as well other side For the very top, we're going to use some stone brick slabs. I haven't got those out ready, so let's grab some. Stonus brickus slabus. Here we go. You can have a bit of fun with this roof, actually. For extra details in this roof, you could do things like just put these on. That works quite nicely as well. I didn't do it in the one I built over there, but you might want to do that for an extra smidgen of detail. Okay, let's stick with this main part of the Fisher person's house and add in more detail. More detail, spruce slabs and dark oak fences. The spruce slabs are gonna go right here, covering the lower half of the bone. Remember that, covering the lower half of the bone, you can't go wrong. So we're gonna bring these slabs down like this. Slab, 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 and that if you've done it right, should link up nicely there. And underneath that, of course, you could put some barrels, you could put some logs, which are just being cut. Maybe you've got some cut logs there for your fire. Maybe you've got some coal, whatever you want, whatever sort of details you think uh, would look good. There we go, I like that little wood store. Um, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing around here. I'm gonna go along here though. And since this one is a bit bigger, actually I'm gonna fill in these end ones here, like so. Just another big store at the back of this shack or hut. Awesome. 
Um, while we're here, we're going to go with um, these dark oak fences in the corners of the roof. Right in the inside corner. There's only one inside corner. And then here, here, and here. And what that lets us do is add in a really nice detail, which I love doing. The dark oak fences all the way along here. Nice medieval detail. And the 5x5 five five system looks quite ordinary and flat to begin with. But if you add things like balconies and roofs and these sort of details and these little stores, then all of a sudden you can hardly see what the build is made of. And I like that. It becomes much more complicated to look at. There you go. People think you're pretty clever when you, when you do that. <laughs> That's a secret. Okay, what should we do next? Um... <laughs> Lanterns and chimneys and things, I think we'll add on towards the end. Let's go on and add the rest of this. So we need to add in the rest of the floor, this whole flooring section here. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we need one, two, three, only six and three. Can you remember those numbers? Hopefully you can, right. Who built the watchtower? Did anyone build the watchtower? Let me know in the comments if you build this. And do send me pictures on Instagram. I love to see everything that you guys have been building. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like that. Seal across there. One, two, three. Um, we'll give it a bit of a floor as well. Um, I'm going to grab this time a bit of a lighter block. I'm going to go for Ocus Woodus Slabus. And I've prepared a special command to make this video go a bit quicker. So we're going to go... One, two, three, four, five, six. And this should be into your water by now. Okay, so we've got six along there, six five by fives overlapping. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we need some in here as well. I need access to this square to do this. Special commands, aren't they good? One, two, and it's three we need. And then that's where the staircases are going to be. May as well do the staircases now, um, I guess. We're going to go... Um, where's the staircases? Yes, here we go. <coughs> Oak stairs. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, like that. Underneath, of course, you can do your upside downs. Doesn't matter too much, because I'm going to go one, two, three. One, two... One, two, three, one, two, one. Something like that. I'm not overly happy with that, to be honest. Hmm. Let's move the staircase in one. Here. Maybe this would be better. Yes, I think this is a better thing to do. Like that. One, two, three. And then all you have to do is one, two, one. Like that. Much, much better staircase. It's maybe not what I did the last time, but... Do you know what? It's an improvement. I like that. So what is next? Well, on the uprights here... Ah, that's why I didn't like it like that. Because now, uh, now I feel like doing that. And that's okay as well. <laughs> Changes. Changes mid-video. Never good. Never good. Add these on like this. And we can do a stair at the back here. Tell you what, I'll do the other kind of stair at the back kind of see how it all joins up. So that one looks fine as well, because you simply go one, two, three, one, two, one. That looks fine as well. I don't know, which one do you like? You can start to turn these stairs as well to make them look a bit more rickety and a bit more like it is <coughs> rotten and wet and slippy and been there for years and years and years. And that adds some good detail as well. There we go. Ooh, detail, detail, we love it. Um, I think I'm going to grab some spruce fences and start to dot these along the place. These can go pretty much everywhere. You can choose whether to have them at the end. Maybe you can be um, fishing off the end of that old pier there. And there we go, great. Uh, what I want to do is build a little bit of a shack here to keep all your fishing equipment dry. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Basically adding on one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then coming across and just sealing the deal and making it look in the five by five 
shape as normal. And what I'm going to do is put a spruce border roof on that. So this is exactly the same roof that we've been doing. So I'll do this quite quickly. Same on the other side. And of course, trace along here with the spruce. Add in your oak. And a spruce finish <coughs> on the very top. And this is where you start to have some fun. You could leave some gaps <laughs> like that. And you can start to turn these stairs to make more gaps, to make it look like a, a rickety, rotten, old fishing hut something like that and of course exact same thing on the other side there we go we're virtually finished this place just detail to add which is obviously fun uh crafting table i'm going to put one right here in fact i like to put a couple of them then a couple of spruce fences and then i'm going to go a bit crazy with oak trapdoors you could use different trapdoors obviously but I like to put this one <coughs> right here and fill this whole gap in with trapdoors like that. There you go. Now, this is something a little bit strange. You don't need to do this if you don't wish to, but I like to do that. Do you know what I mean? It makes for a higgledy piggledy. <coughs> trapdoor experience let me show you every checkered pattern is what you do every sort of alternate like that so that means you can take out uh, that one that one that one that one it's harder to explain easier to show it's more sort of worn and rickety which i quite like yeah i think it's chimney time let's put in the chimney so i'm going to grab some stone bricks, um, cracked stone bricks would actually be pretty, probably a bit better for the chimney. And I'm also going to go for some stone brick stairs as well. So for the chimney, what I want to do, obviously, uh, take out the window. You could put a fire inside wherever you want. Take out those three there. And we're going to take out three sections of roof as well and that creates loads and loads of space for the chimney so first of all um bring that one up there like that bring that one up there like that how far up i don't know i've uh, stuck it too above the end of my slabs there so i've got half slab plus two the ones on the side come up to there and you need another one actually <coughs> right there in here you need that one uh, let's add on another one <coughs> excuse me and we're going to add on <coughs> stone brick stairs sorry about my voice still getting getting over the flu got a bit of a frog in my throat there we go <coughs> that's a fine that is fine how tall is it in total? Let's actually just measure this. If I grab my special command here, we can go from there to there. So the chimney is 11 blocks tall, if you're really wondering. Okay, hey, 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 time for some hay. And a camp fire as well. And um, we're gonna put the hay bale, dig down, stick the hay bale right about there, campfire on top, and hey presto, you've got your smoke and of course, what you can do on the inside as well, just exactly where you had the window, you could carve in there and put yourself a fireplace if you really, really wanted and really link it up and in. But I'm gonna leave interior details to you. In fact, all the other details I'm gonna leave to you as well. That is the basic Fisher person's hut done. Let me show you the other details. You should be adding in plenty of vines lanterns ladders a bell obviously tons of barrels pots you can put trapdoors on top of these 
These look pretty smart, the smokers. You could add some extra fencing at the back. Cobwebs, more ladders, more barrels. Trapdoors look pretty good as well, as if you could fish down through there if you wanted. And is that it? I think that's pretty much it. That would count as a done deal. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this tutorial, then be sure to subscribe for more 5x5 Minecraft building guide videos. And if you have a great idea of what I should build next, then let me know. Do follow me on Instagram. I am away on my travels for the next couple of days. So do follow me. I'll be up to Scotland doing some cycling in and amongst the woods and the trees. So do follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting loads of pictures on there. Take care for now. Ciao, ciao. Be with you.